What up YouTube, it's our Bulldog Matt here. Um, just going to take a few seconds to go over a few things with my new E-Revo build. Uh, first thing, shout outs. I uh, want to say g'day to uh, Geo, Speedy, uh, John Racer Rex, Draven, Ace as everyone else knows, uh, Hockey Dude, it's Neon King, um, the Tap Money, uh, there's so many other guys out there doing that 100 mile an hour rustler build that I'm starting to forget how many there are, but all you guys know who you are, and sh big shout out and hello. So, what I'm doing, as you guys know, is my uh, earlier vid on my E-Revo, totally taking it apart, probably the only thing that will be left standard will be ESC, the can. Uh, chassis, everything else is going to be moved. So today I just thought I'd go over a few parts, uh, part numbers, where I got them from, um, just to zone. So, uh, as you can see, rocking the Toads RC t-shirt. It's kind enough to send me one. Um, I love using their stuff. They get to me super fast. Anything I order from them in the States is in my hot little hands within seven days. For, and for priority mail, that's spot on. So uh, for all your tracks of stuff, Toads RC is the way to go. They don't have it in stock, they'll find it for you. And they're always cheaper than everyone else. So first up will be the Road Rage tires. So what I'm actually gonna do is rock them on uh, these Axial 8 spokes. So uh, the Road Rage tires, part number is 1104-00. So as you can see here, I've mounted this one dry fit just to test how it is. Um, and in another vid I'll show you how to glue and do that. These are the axials. Part number for these is AX8008. The next thing I want to talk about is the Traxxas uh, Heavy Duty Steel Drive Charts, Drive Train, sorry. Uh, 5451R. Um, these are for the Revo, so they meet, they match any Revo model. Um, it's got sealed pivot ball suspension, and it's to match the 3.8 wheels. Um, comes with dust out, out of boots. The axles are heavy duty, big thick steel, and they're pretty cool. Next thing is the heavy duty center CVD. Um, this one fits the E-Revo or the Summit. Uh, part number is 5650R. Um, as I said, E-Revo Summit, heavy duty, to stop all the, um, the high power torque that comes from that uh, Mamba Monster. And it's a must, must upgrade. The next thing I will show you is the diff. Now I'm still waiting on a few parts for my diff. The uh, metal or aluminium outer case and a couple of gears. I'm going to redo the gears because uh, they're known to strip out with the, the power of the, the 6x battery. So, a bit of diff loop. I also am upgrading all of my uh, toe links. So, here. I've got tow links and I've got uh, rod ends, uh, push rods, sorry. Uh, the push rods for the front is 5318X and that's them in ring. And then for the longer ones, it's uh, 5338R. Uh, these tow links are the 128mm that fits the front or the rear. I also have here is a heavy duty. Excuse me, it's a diff kit, 5614, fits the e Revo, the e Max. Um, it's already pre assembled with 500,000 weight oil. Another one that is coming good here are these shocks. These shocks I will be putting in the uh, e Revo to check out the GDR ones. Um, these are a mixture between 
uh, Traxxas shocks. These are Team Blue Star 85mm aluminium threaded shocks. Uh, the actual springs they come with aren't real good, so I swapped them out for the other uh, GDRs, the GDR ones, and we'll see how that goes. Um, as I said later, this is just a test fit. I'll be doing a uh, a changeover changeover vid with the uh, the rod ends, which are here. These ones are 02262 silver aluminium rod ends for a Revo 3.3. So shocks. Now bumpers. As you guys know, with me, I'm a big, big, huge fan of T-Bone Racing. Love their stuff. I've got it on my Losi. I've got it on my uh, e -Revo. Uh Sorry, I've got it on my Rustler, and I'll now have it on my E-Revo. And I'm sure that if they bring something out for the X01 when I get it, it'll be on my X01. So, first up, I have here is the rear Traxxas 110 E-Revo uh, wing. So, pretty stock standard. Then, I went and purchased to protect the undercarriage is the Summit uh, center, sh center Skid. Um, yeah, that is just for the track summit, part number 62109 uh, and then I got the wheelie bar so the wheelie bars, I think it's only just a new thing that's come out but what I like to do with my wheelie bar is to change them over with these these are the wheels uh, 5186, red anodized they go in there, if you've seen my Rusty, which you should have had by now, you'll see what I do with these. Next up, two Savox servos. These ones are the 1257TG titanium gear. I love my Savox stuff, I don't know, some people say high tech, some people say Savox. But, Savox for me. Um, I've got it on my Rusty, pretty pretty good, probably a little bit of overkill, but hey, who cares. Um, I'm in two minds whether I need to hook up a, an external BEC to run these two bad boys. Anybody's got uh, any information or experience with that, I'd love to know. So, then we get into the RPM gear. So, as you can see, pretty much black all round. Um, I've got RPM front right arms. Right AI arms for the rear Revo. I have got the Traxxas Revo True True Rear. I'll say that again. Blah, blah, blah. True Track Rear A Arm Conversion. Uh, fits all versions of the Revo. This, all this is by Toads RC. Uh, steering knuckles, which is for the Revo T Max, and also fits the uh, Traxxas E Max. Um, these are expensive as they uh, hit me up 35 bucks for 15 bucks and 15 bucks is 30 and then 100 bucks for all four corners and you've got some pretty tight corners there's no aluminium A arms or knuckles on my baby then one more axial wheel this box is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So, I've got another set of oversized rims here. Um, purely because I wanted a set for the road. And then I picked up these bad boys. They look a little bit like bow ties. Not sure if you can see the tread pattern. But, as I like these axial oversized, that's what I'll be rocking on there. Um, they're pretty good, you know, the rubber's nice. I think they'll grip into the clay and the dirt a bit. Uh, it's pretty dry here where I am in Australia, so uh, I need something that's a bit tough. I've also got these RPM revolvers. I just like the look of it, but I need to pick up uh, 3.2 tyres to fit those, and then we'll be away. Uh, next up is the XO Carbon Wing. The wing that's on it's nice enough, but everyone loves carbon fibre. I did buy this wheelie bar. Uh, I think I bought it on impulse just to see, but 
considering I got the T-bone one after this, then that's the way I'll run. Maybe, maybe not. Some more push rods, aluminium, 5319X. Front, T-bone racing for the 110E Revo, it's the monster one. Close to shock oil for rebuilding the shocks. Um, I got this pack, it was fairly cheap actually, Toads RC again. I think it was $15 for one, two, three, six containers. Um, I went, as you can see, I went from 50 up to 100 weight. Now, this little bad boy is all full of diff parts. So I'm rebuilding the diff. I'll probably go over the numbers a little bit more once I get to it. But because the uh, E-Revo is the way the E-Revo is, I had to buy two sets of everything. So I'll dig it out and go. So the gear set is full of spider gears and that. So that's 5832X. I bought two of those. Um, then I bought 3978, it's the center diff, um, heavy duty. The only thing I bought it was for the gaskets and those little parts there, I'm not sure if you can see them. So that's why I got those. Um, I actually have a, I actually have a aluminium case coming, so that's the way I'm building it. Screws to screw into the diff. 3965 2587 and two packets of those. Then I got some new dust boots and for the knuckles for just in case. That's 5378X. Um, I got some long travel rocker arms. 5359 actually they're in 90T which are already on the truck but I needed those for the run ends. Then one of the few pieces of aluminium is the uh, I think it's a Golden Horizons or a Year Racing one. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. It feels a bit tinny and so we'll see where it goes. I got some bumpers from RC Raven. Um, I think the bumpers were about five or six bucks, but it's postage to Australia that, that gets you. I think it was $28, $20 in postage. But they do shop it, um, they do send it through FedEx, and you get it in about three or four days. Um, and then I got some left and right servo alloy servo guards, and then the big ticket, which has cost the most, uh, bearings. So I'm redoing the bearings and all the diffs with Avid. I love the Avid ones. Uh, these are ceramic uh, revolutions. These little babies are five dollars a piece. So roughly, you know, there's ten, thirty, fifty, seventy, eighty. Nearly a hundred bucks worth of bearings just in that little bag. It's crazy. We also got a uh, clutch or just a shim kit so I can shim up my diff. But pretty much, guys, that's about it. I do have a few bodies. Um, I've got a two HPI bodies and an E Revo body. I'm going to paint them up, and I don't know if I'll do a tutorial on those. Pretty much know how to go through those, but. One of them is a just a body I like. The other body is going to be painted um, for my brother. Not for my brother, it's for me, but um, it uh, used to be something we used to love as a kid. So, pretty much, there's all my parts out there. Um, I'm going to enjoy doing this with you guys. So, as I said, big shout out, Toads RC. Great, great place to get all your Traxxas gear and whatever else you're into. So, 
Odds to Mignon from the Dog Down Under.